Our top story tonight. Earlier this month, it was a discovery 21 years in the making. A freelance diver found a car at the center of a missing persons case. 18 year old Aaron Foster and 17 year old Jeremy Bechtel disappeared in April of 2000 in White County. Now, for the first time since their vehicle was pulled out of a river, family of one of the missing teens spoke with News 2's My Owens. He says there are still many unanswered questions. You hear all kinds of stories and possibilities out there, possibly, you know, what could have happened or just too much stuff out there right now. It was a moment of mixed emotions. And, you know, after 20 years, it's kind of disheartening at the same time uh, to know that they were possibly there the whole time uh, and then nobody knowing. 21 years after two teenagers, Aaron Foster and Jeremy Betchel went missing. A break in the case came this month. Immediately, John thought of his sister, Jeremy's mom. She didn't, she didn't live long enough to find out what happened to him. She had died from cancer before she had the chance to get answers. The, the sad part for her is because she had to live through all of this and, uh, you know, not really have any relief from it, you know. A freelance diver did what no one did before, go searching underwater. And within hours, the car the two were last seen in was found 12 feet underwater before being dragged out. But new questions surfaced with it. Have a car sit there that period of time, if that's where it ended up resting at, you know, in that period of time, you know, nobody, I mean, there's fish, fishing that goes on there and kayaking and then everything else. Nobody's ever seen this vehicle. That's a, that's one of the questions I have. Now Jeremy's family is looking back at the past 21 years. She had initially had hope that they would be found alive. They might have, you know, went somewhere. Still searching for answers. My Owens, News 2. Jeremy's family is working on holding a memorial service for him. They're waiting for more information on what led to the car being found in the river and how he died.